everyone, welcome to today's video. Sorry that I haven't uploaded in quite a um, while. I have been meaning to make v some videos but just haven't had the time. Um, and I thought today I shall film an updated um, everyday makeup for you as I've got a few new bits. Um, my mirror is here. Um, it's quite far away and I haven't got my glasses so I'm going to try my best, ignore my hair. I've just bunged it up. But um, I'm going to speed up this video. And have a little, um... What's it called? Voiceover? Oh, that's it. Gonna voice over my beautiful voice for you, just mentioning the products. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get on with the video. Hello everybody. So I'm gonna use my simple face wash and then I've just used my simple moisturiser. And yeah, so to start off, get my beauty blender, make sure it's damp. I'm gonna use a bourgeois foundation in the shade 52. And I just put a couple of pumps on the... Oh, yeah, I need tissue because I don't want to get it on my dress. So, yeah, just going to put a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. And then I just apply it to my face using my fingers. And then um, get my beauty blender and dab it all in. I love the Real Techniques beauty blender. It's literally... I'll never use brushes now. I just use um, the beauty blender. Um... I just prefer it much more. It just is more flawless. Um, I just sneeze, bless me. <laughs> dab, dab, dab. My hands are hurting because I've dabbing so much. I cut most of it out. But, yeah. So, moving on to um, concealer. This is the Bourjois Radiance Concealer in the lightest shade. So, I just apply that under my eyeballs. This is fairly new and I saw Zoella using it. So, um zoe on youtube i thought i'd give it a go as i like the foundation so the concealer goes with it really nice dab 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 it's like a radiance one so it's kind of like highlighting and gives you a bit of coverage um in two in one i mean <laughs> two things in one i pull really funny faces Okay, I'm going to do a close-up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, moving on to powder. I'm going to use a bourgeois. I think it's called... I don't know what it's called. It's just the powder. But again, it's like a radiance one with the Eco Tools Matte Powder Brush. What I love about this powder is it keeps you matte, but also it's illuminating. So it gives you a nice glow at the same time. Still going with the powder. <laughs> Next, I'm moving on to the Sleek Contour Kit. And I'm just going to use a Primark angled brush because it just does the job. And I'm just going to apply that um, in my jawline. That's the word. Um, and on the top of my head. And a little bit down my nose, under my nose. And then I'm going to do the other side. I do like to do my contouring and my bronzing quite dark. Um, it's just personal preference. So I don't really care if it looks too much to you because everyone does their makeup different. Um, and I'm just going to use the Eco Tools bronzing brush, I believe it's called. And I'm just going to blend um, the contour out a bit just so it's not harsh. It looks so funny when it's sped up. I wish I'd done my makeup this quick in real time. Just blending that down a bit, down my neck as well. There we go. Because you want to look even, you don't want to have a pale neck. I 
felt a hair and I couldn't find it. Okay, just using this Freedom um, Highlighting and Contour Kit kind of thing in there. Just to add more highlight and um, brighten up under my eyes, my forehead and on my chin. And just under where I've placed the contour. And then I'm just going to go and blend that out a bit. Moving on to my most favourite product. This is the Lizzo <laughs> bronzer. I said I love this so much. Um, this is £19 you can get from Boots. It's in Radiant Glow. And I absolutely freaking love this bronzer. It's got like four different shades in it or five. I can't remember. Four. I just swung my brush around and... I put a lot of it on, but I love it. It just gives you this amazing highlighting glow, but a bronze at the same time. It's got a darker brown, medium brown, a light brown, and then like this highlighting shade. Um, and I get lots of compliments when I go into work with it on and also when I go to college because it just, yeah, I just love it so much. So that's the Lizelle bronzer. I just kind of place that where I put my contour. Going back in with the Freedom Kit, I'm just going to highlight again. Blend that out. Next, I'm going to move on to brows using the Sleek Brow Kit. And I'm not going to do this on camera because it took me ages. And they went absolutely horrible because I need to get my eyebrows done. Using the MAC Soft and Gentle, I'm just going to highlight using the Revolution brush. This is under my brows. Yeah, please ignore my brows. I don't normally do them this dark. And they've normally got a nicer shape. But like I said, I need to go get them tinted and threaded. So I'm literally just applying that under my brow bone. And then I'm going to do a bit on my inner corner of my eye. Then I'm just going to do um, normal highlighting using the Real Techniques fan brush on the tops of my cheeks. Although the um, Lizzo bronzer had highlighting in it, I still like, like a bit more with the MAC Soft and Gentle. Weird close-up, sorry. <laughs> gonna disappear for a bit. Oh, I'm back, gonna curl my eyelashes. Oh, what am I doing? It looks so weird when it's sped up, like my eyes are going everywhere. But before I do mascara, I'm going to do my blusher. This is the Real Techniques blusher brush. Using the Freedom Kit, I love this. It's got so many different shades in, like kind of peachy pinky shades. Um, and I'm going to pick the peachy shade at the bottom. I really recommend um, these blushes. They they can be subtle, but then you can build it up. And um, I build it up because I, li I like to have some colour in my cheeks. Sorry, you can't really see. I didn't even realise. Oh, I'm using the mirror from the palette yeah i forgot to say that that's why sorry curl my eyelashes again because they weren't cold enough before yolo <laughs> going in with the maybelline lash sensational is my favorite mascara i'm just zoomed in for you so you can see i have cut this out because i do 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 a lot of layers but i absolutely love this mascara i've gone for about eight um tubes of it um, every time I'm in work, I recommend it to customers as well because it's my favourite one. And Zoe uses it as well, so. <laughs> one eye done, I'm going to do the other eye. Just using the mirror from the Freedom palette. I 
can never close my mouth when I'm doing it. I try so hard and I always look so weird when I'm, when I'm editing back. And I'm like, why can I just close my mouth like a normal person? But I just can't. Sorry about it. Weird close-up again. Just letting you look at me eyelashes. Where have I gone? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get um a... Oh, what's it called? Oh, my God, I thought it was called. Okay, so that was the end of my um everyday makeup. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if this video is really long. Once again, I have sped it up. Um, this is a finished look. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I went. I don't wear this every day. This is kind of like if I'm going out. This is not like out, out, like night out, like woo, party out. It's not that. It's just um. Everyday makeup, but a little bit more, if you get what I mean. Eyebrows went a bit wrong. I really need to get them done and tinted. So, sorry about those. Um, but apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and comment. Any video suggestions. And make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye!